everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week's project is a really fun one. Uh, last week we did a really simple project. In fact, it only required three stamps. So this week I thought I would challenge you a little bit. This one requires a few more than three, but um, it's really fun. And actually, you know, when you look at these compositions, sometimes they look overwhelming and uh, too difficult. But honestly, we break it down element by element, you'll see that it's really, really simple to do. So I'm gonna show you what I used in this composition, but you can easily swap out the foliages and the flowers and use what you have too. Okay, so let's get, get started putting this little composition together. And we're gonna start out by using one of the little mini, mini cottages. So from the mini cottages set, this little one right here. Uh, the bridges, this one. This little bridge right here, we're gonna use that one. And then in foliage set four, this broadleaf little branch here. And then in the mini flower set, these two, uh, the branches, this little one right here, we're gonna create a little tree with that. And then in the foliage set, this little uh, mini uh, foliage here, and then the small grass. And in the flowers, the little filler flower, the daisy bunch. Okay, so it sounds like a lot, but honestly, you can um, you can do without some of these elements too. So this is just to inspire you and give you an idea, and you take it from there. Okay, so let's get going. We're gonna start out by stamping that basic image, and that is the little cottage, and we're gonna stamp it really, really light. So I've prepped my paper here, and you can see that I've uh, blocked off this little frame so that we can uh, make this little framed image. And the easiest way to do this, I think, is to cut a little two and a half inch square. This is two and a half inches. I cut a little square, and then I just traced around it. Uh, that way it's square and even. And then I just covered along the edge with my post-it tape. So I just, I think that's the easiest way to do it. You can do it however you like, but this is a two, uh, two and a half inch square. Okay, so let's go ahead and ink this up. We're going to ink this little cottage in two colors. So we're gonna start out with the blue. This is the dark blue. And I'm just gonna ink this whole thing up here. And then I'm gonna go back over it with the brown. This is the dark brown. So this is number 969. This is one of our important colors. And I'm going to stamp it off because uh, this is in the background and so we don't wanna see any outlines. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stamp that off just like so. And then I'm gonna use my positioner because I wanna make sure that I get it in the right place. So I'm gonna use my little L bar here. Stamp that right into the corner. And I think uh, right about here looks pretty good. Maybe down just a little bit. That looks good right there. And I'm gonna take some of the bottom part off because I'm kind of tucking it behind a hill a little bit. So I'm just gonna take my thumb and just take off the bottom part. Just huff on it and now stamp it onto my paper. So that's exactly how I want it right there. So let's go on now and do the bridge. And we're gonna ink that the same way. We're gonna ink it in the dark blue first. The whole thing. And then the brown right over the top. So two colors. And again, this is gonna to be too much color. So we wanna for sure stamp this off. And when I stamp it off, I press pretty hard so that I get that dark color off. You can see, if you try to pull the color out of these lines, you see how dark that is? It's just gonna create a muddy image. So uh, this is why it's really, really important to stamp that off. So I'm gonna use my positioner again, and I can turn it and just place this into the corner, like so. And I think right about here, that looks pretty good. Maybe just a little bit higher. Okay, that looks good. I don't have to be too picky about this. Huff on it, and then stamp it into the corner. So really good, even pressure, but we want that pretty light. Okay, so that's, that's about it for the stamping the basic images. So now we're going to uh, begin by pulling the color out of the line. So let's start with this little house first. And I'm going to dip my brush in water and pinch it off. So always pinch it off and then pull this color out of the lines. And this side is in the shadows, so it's okay to make that a little bit darker. 
And so is the side of this roof. That's also in the shadow. Uh, under, under the eaves here, it's gonna be darker. And then inside the door, just kind of follow the lines. So fun. And this is just the beginning stages. So we're just getting started here. Uh, the same, now the bridge. I'm just dragging my, my brush along the railing and you can see how that kind of brings that railing forward. So this is a really, really small image and these little posts, you know, the, little, the railing, they're very small. So we don't have to do a lot. And we can, we can add more color and stuff to it later. So again, we're just getting started. And really, we just want to see that three-dimensional look. See these things just start to pop out. Okay, that's starting to take shape. So let's continue on. And we're going to put in our background now. So I'm going to put some green onto my palette. This is light green, so number 158. But you can use any green that you like. And I'm just going to brush in this little hill here. Just down along the side, just kind of like this. This is when you actually get to paint. It's when you're putting in stuff like this. It's so fun. And just brush it in. Don't stress out about it. And then just kind of bring it alongside uh, this little fence, or fence, bridge, alongside the bridge. And then we'll just bring this along underneath here. So you can see that the ground kind of goes right on the edge. And then let's add some more along the front. So we kind of get our perspective here. And then we'll add some more green in here. So start out light. It's always better to start out light than too much color. Uh, it's really, really hard to fix that if you get too much color on here. So always start out light. You can always add more. It's much, much easier to do that. And we're just kind of blocking in this area here. So we, we can always come back and add more detail. All right, so I've got my little hill in here. You can see where the little stream is coming through, a little creek. And then I'm gonna add a little more background back in here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose a different color. Different color green, this is a darker green. So this is number 249. And I make this really light and just kind of draw in a little hill back in here. And leave, you know, a little space in between when you're doing these. And then maybe a little bit back in here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and put the water in. And we're gonna do that with the dark blue. So this is our 565. This is what we used in the very beginning to ink that little cottage. And just brush this blue in. Don't overthink this, just, just brush it in. These are tiny little, you know, compositions, tiny little painting, but they're so fun to do. And don't get overwhelmed, just one step at a time. So now we can see this little, uh, we can see the water now through the railing. So let's go back here and add the green now into the rail, in between the railings. So you can see in between here, we could see the grass in between here and here and all the way down. And I'm just gonna put a little darker line along here. And underneath this little bridge. This is really, really important that you take a little darker color and just put a line or two under that bridge so that we can see that shadow under there. It really, really makes a difference to do those little things. 
Okay, so well, while we've got uh, blue on our brush, let's go in and do the little windows. And leave, do some little details here. Don't just color them all in solid. So I'm just making two little squares. I just think this adds so much to do this. And over on the side. And this one over here. And I'm just going back over these again, just to make sure they're really dark. And I think I'll just mix a little of this blue into the green and add a little color to the door. Okay, that looks good. So let's add some color now to the roof and I'm gonna do that with this warm brown. So this is number 947. And I'm just gonna brush this on. Remember when you're doing these little structures? See that highlight on the top of the structure. So you always wanna remember that, not to color all the way to the top. And then, you know, always stay in each section. So you never wanna drag your brush over these lines. Always stay in each section. Okay. That looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna add a little more color onto the side of this house because it is in the shadow. And up in here as well. And even if a little cottage is white, it's never uncolored. It's always gonna have some sort of shadow or something on it. So we don't ever see a, just a stark white house out in the distance. So I'm just adding a little more shadow here, especially under the eaves. And you can see how that just pops this little roof up. Even though it's small, it really makes a difference to do these things. So I'm going to take my uh, fine tip, so my little uh, twin tone, and I'm gonna use the very, whoops, the very fine tip. This is the dark blue, and really darken in these little windows. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be perfectly square. That's not really important. You know, watercolor, is, it's pretty forgiving. And really darken that. And you can see that it's going to add a lot of um, depth to this little, little cottage. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on now. And I'm going to add some color into the background. And we're going to kind of create some sky here. And I'm just going to brush in a little blue. And if you leave a little white space, you can kind of create a little cloud line there. Keep it light, you know, just keep pushing that color. You know, when you're doing the sky, you're actually kind of pushing your brush. Um, you're, not, you're not creating strokes. And I think that's where sometimes um, it gets frustrating when you're trying to brush in sky is that you're, you're trying to paint it like this or like this. And really, you just wanna kind of push it, push it around. I hope that made sense. And let's add a little bit of this blue now to this little bridge. We don't have to do a lot. But underneath here, this would be really dark too, underneath this shadow. And let's add a little more color here. Okay, that looks pretty good. We're starting to make progress here. All right, let's go ahead and add some more details. So I'm going to uh, put some little trees in here. So this little guy right here, and I think I'm gonna use my positioner. 
it's always good to make sure, just take that extra minute and just make sure that you're getting into the right place. After you've come this far and done this much detail, um, it's just better not to make a mistake. So I'm going to stamp this into the corner and I think I will put this little tree right here. And maybe another one right there. And then I'm just gonna take a little um, light color. This is that little, um, from the little mini flower set. It's super tiny, it actually makes a really good little foliage. And just add a little bit of um, foliage to these trees. Just tap it in. And actually you can add a little bit over here too. Maybe a little bit in the front. And on the side. And then always follow it up with the water. And just touch it. You know, you're just you're just dabbing. And we can just add a little shadow here too. All right, so let's get into our background here. <clears throat> and we're gonna use this really small foliage. This is from the um, original foliage set. And we're just gonna use a little bit, and you can see I've turned it sideways on my block. So I'm just gonna use this little tip right here. And I just wanna make sure that I am not uh, stamping over my entire composition here. So I'm gonna use a little bit of post-it tape and just cover that little hill. And I think I'm gonna use a little darker color here and just color this in. And just tap that in. So now I can remove this and just blend this out. The easiest way to make trees in the background And then we can create a little bit of a shadow underneath them with a little blue. Just like that. All right, so let's come on to the uh, foreground now in here. So we're gonna add some little blooms in the foreground. So we've got we're gonna add some uh, branches up here. So it looks like we're kind of looking through a little opening in the trees or in the, in, the, uh, in the garden. So we're gonna add something in here. I'm gonna use my little grass. And just picked up one of my greens here, so it doesn't really matter which one. I'm kind of doing this at an angle. Just kind of walking it along like this. And I can do a little bit over here as well. And just pull that color up and out. And then I can add my little flowers. So here's these little, I don't even know what these are called, little purple tall things. Blue bonnets maybe? Stamp them in like that, and then add water to it, and just touch them. You could add any, any of your flowers in here. They're all gonna work. Okay, and then let's add some more over here. So I'm gonna change color, and I'm gonna use my light, my light blue. This is the number 526, and I'm just gonna ink a couple of these. put a bunch of these in. Add water.
just like so. And we just have the top part to do here. So we're gonna take our uh, foliage now, so this little branch. And I'm going to ink this one up. And just stamp it kind of over the top like this. And over here. And then maybe down in the center. Just wherever. And I'm going to do the same thing now with that little flower again. So this little one, before I even add any water to this, and I'm using that light blue, and I'm just going to put these flowers in. Just wherever. The biggest thing about these little paintings, you know, that are blocked off like this, is that you get color around the whole thing. So you want to make sure that you get enough color around the edges so that when you pull this tape off, you can see that it's a square, it's in a frame. So really kind of work that color in. And I'm just dabbing, kind of mixing that blue into the, into the green. And mixing that color into the edge. And I'll just make sure that I have green all the way down. And down in here. And along this edge. Okay, we are getting finished here. You can kind of look it over and see if there's anything that you want to still add. You know, you can always come back to these things and add them later. Sometimes walking away from it is the best thing. When you come back the next day, uh, you can decide if you want to add anything more to it. And I'm just touching up all these little areas. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think we are about finished. And we can take off our tape. This is the fun part. Sort of a big reveal. And once it's all dry, you can just come in and erase the pencil lines. You can see where I traced around that little, um, little square. And then sign and date. And put that on a little card and give it away to someone. You're going to make their day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Uh, if so, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you all next week.